The Enberg Vela Sabercats back in the Sweet 16 for a second year in a row, looking to get to the Elite Eight for the first time in program history. They would be taking on Alamo Heights Friday night at the Blossom Center in San Antonio. Early on, it would be Alan Valdez hits the three-pointer from the corner there. Alamo Heights would take an early lead in this one. That bucket would be good. They would lead 15 to four midway through the first quarter. Later in the quarter, back on the other end, come the Sabercats. Second chance opportunity here from Luis Salinas. Kisses that one off the glass. Sabercats though would trail by 10 at the end of one. Back on the other end, Evan Carnanigas there. Gets that one to go off the glass for the big man. Lalo Rios and company trying to fire up his troops here. Late in the second quarter we go. More Vela bounce pass inside to the junior point guard Ryan Garza. That one goes off the glass. Although Vela would trail 33-26 at recess. Into the second half we go. Valdez again for three. One of back-to-back -back threes. Valdez would nail in this one. Back comes Vela on the other end. Late third quarter. Second chance opportunity there from Chris Ochoa with the putback. Sabercats coming back in this one. That bucket would make it a six-point ball game midway through the fourth quarter. Sabercats making a comeback in this one. Carnanigas with the rebound here. Pushes this one down the court on the fast break as Jonathan Dunn. 6-0 run right out of the gate. Back comes Alamo Heights on the other end with the left hand. That bucket there from Garza would tie the score at 50. Sabercats come all the way back after both teams would exchange free throws late, shots late. That bucket there would make it a one-point game with three seconds left. There's your game time bucket. And that bucket there from Mike Garcia would force overtime. Free basketball at the Blossom Center in San Antonio. Vela fans feeling it. Sabercats feeling it. Into OT we go. Garza strong to the hole. Sabercats would finish this one on an 8-0 run in the overtime period. Final seconds in this one. Sabercats can dance on to the Elite Eight as they win by a final score of 68-60. to They take on Laredo Nixon tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. We, we came back hungrier this year with more experience and we weren't going to go home after the first after the first game here. That team is very disciplined, very fundamentally sound, but luckily our press, it may not have caused as many turnovers as usually, but, but it burned them down. That